Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. On tap is what should be a pretty good matchup between the New York Jets and the Baltimore Ravens. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Inner Harbor and m and Bank Stadium here in Baltimore, Maryland. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New York Jets and the Baltimore Ravens. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Raven team as they get ready here. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jets, they come in with some fresh legs as they got the week off last week thanks to the early season bye. And usually you hope your bye comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get fresh legs back, you take that time and you run with it. Strap in, this will be a good one. Two one-loss teams getting together as they're underway on EA Sports. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback out of NC State. It's Phillip Rivers. And coming off of an early season open week. And in this situation, what he told us when we sat down with him was, he spent a lot of time working on fundamentals, kind of getting back to basics during that time, as opposed to having to worry about healing up or resting up. It's too early in the season. Get back to the basics, get his game going again. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. On second down and four, Rivers. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there, and it's third and four. The offensive starters now for the Jets. And they should come in pretty well rested because they had their open week last week. Ideally, all teams want to have that open week later in the year rather than this early. But you make do with what they give you. So you take the time off, rest up, heal up, and come in ready to play. Oh, he finds his running back who snuck right down the middle of the field. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 42. A nice little completion there by Phillip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday, fifth grade. Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations. So he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Not so bad, not so bad at all. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And on that play, I think he made the old coach proud with that completion. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens 34. On third down. It's Ford, and he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. I'll bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So here come the Ravens for their first look on offense. They'll have Lamar Jackson calling the shots, the former Heisman Trophy winner from Louisville. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, <laughs> he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to They run for the first time with Justice Hill. And he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And now an introduction here to the starting 11 on offense. Let's take a look at Willie Sneed, wide receiver, undrafted coming into the league. He's the quintessential coach's son. Knows how to play the game so well and plays it with joy. Throwing on second and long, Jackson. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. On third down, Jackson. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. On second down now, it's Gill, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. We get a look now at the defense for the New York Jets. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. Numbers don't tell you everything, but they do paint a pretty good picture. We're talking about two top five units going at each other, one in running the ball, one in stopping the run. I think this is going to be a whole lot of fun myself. Let's go, D, tighten up. Jump, jump. From midfield now, here's Jackson. He can run for it, and he will. Boy, he almost did that himself, but it looks like he's about a foot or two short. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. The New York set to take the field. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. 380. 380. Here we go. Watch Watch on first down, Dobbins. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 14 yards is the pickup there and a jet first down. A first down throw here for Rivers. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ford. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. 
Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Rivers. He's going to find his tight end. That's Chris Herndon. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Jet first down. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. They'll throw again. Rivers. Herndon's got it complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Rivers with a first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Off the play fake here, Rivers. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll run on first down. Dobbins. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. On second down, Dobbins. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Play fake, Rivers. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. These guys had to settle for a field goal their last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time. Three here, not the worst thing in the world. Badgley able to punch this one through. And that'll make it 6 nothing here in the first. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Jackson. That'll be taken in there by Miles Boykin. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They stay on the ground. This time it's Hill. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. On second down, Hill. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Here's Jackson on third and long. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. Here's Sam Cook now, as he'll punt it away for the second time.
And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. 6-0 our score after one. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now their two drives thus far both led to points, albeit both field goals, so the lead just six to nothing, but the ability to move the ball is evident. Well, that's, you know, heartening as they say, but it's not what they're about. What they're about is putting the ball in the end zone and putting sixes on the board. So if you're the offensive coordinator, you like what you're doing, but you don't love it. You've got to find a way to ring that bell. Then you can have a little self-satisfied grin. Right now, a little more determination is needed. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Rivers now on second down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. It's a gain of six on the play, and they're going to have a third down. On third down, Rivers. And that will be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? That one caught out wide by Boykin. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. The Ravens on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. To throw is Jackson. And that is incomplete. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. And he puts a little something extra into this one, by far his best of the night. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Second and nine now from the 21. To throw is Rivers. He's got Herndon, his tight end. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 14 yards is the pickup there at a jet first down. On first down, Dobbins. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Now whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Throwing Rivers. He's able to find Wallace. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Open man is Robbie Anderson. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Set. 
Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Throwing Rivers. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 14 yards is the pickup there and a jet first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Jets will extend their lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that drive in total eight plays and was polished off by the touchdown run from the 16-yard line. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, it's Jackson. Wide open receiver complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Let's see who's faster. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Jackson on first down. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Now a first carry for their fullback. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. The Ravens on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time it's third and three. Got a man. It's Brown. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Yeah, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit towards the field goal. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading on to the field again. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. 
Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, go. you run to set Here up the go. pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Now it's a bootleg with Rivers. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Back him up, back him up. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. The Ravens' offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. Now a loose football, the ball comes out, and it's scooped up by the Jets. Runs through the contact. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Encroachment, defense. 
A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yes. And maybe that extra hut, you know, <laughs> that, that extra emphasis on it. Got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. So a first and five now Just after like the five-yard penalty like from the neutral zone infraction. Working out of the gun, Rivers into the hands of his receiver, Anderson. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This officially a 55-yard attempt. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. And that one is still scoreless as they play in the second quarter. From there, we're off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In the game you're watching, it's the veteran Philip Rivers who's up to his old tricks. His guys lead it by 10 as we send it back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Gentlemen. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Step Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. 30. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Touchdown. Jets. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that, and that's what they've done all game long. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I, we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. 
That one a first down pickup of eight. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Jackson going to get this out to Brown. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Three down, three down. On second and one, Jackson. And he whips that one incomplete there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Hill. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. They're able to convert with a gain of four. From midfield now, here's Jackson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. A quick throw here out to Brown. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Jackson from the shotgun. He may try and run for this. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Well, I tell you, I think by definition, you won't get any closer to equaling the record than that. Not at all. 64 yards, end over end. And I think he's going to come up about a half a revolution short. And that could really have bounced either way. They'll run on first down. Dobbins. Dunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. From the 40 now on second down. Rivers. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judah. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Hey, boys, we got four. Four down. Jackson. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. On second down, it's Hill. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. On third down, Jackson rolling to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. C.J. Mosley, the linebacker, making sure his presence is felt. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. And that's a loss of seven on the first down play. 57 to Mike. 57 to Mike. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. A good productive run there on first down. He winds up getting eight. 
On second and nine, Rivers. This one caught by Crowder. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. On first down, Dobbins. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. From the 35 on second down, Rivers. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. That one, a first down pickup of eight. A first down throw here for Rivers. Herndon's got it complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. They'll run on first down. It's Ford. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now Rivers. That one complete to Anderson. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one good for 26 and a first down. Rivers now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. We got three. We got three. We got three. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. Rivers to throw it. His throw caught right around the six. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. This is Ford. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Third and goal for Rivers. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick. Right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. And the Ravens taking the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. On second down now, it's Hill. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So that one will be accepted. Following the penalty, it's Hill. Now it appears we've got an injured Raven down there on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break.
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Jackson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. And New York set to take the field. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Back now in Baltimore. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin four. Tight, run 80. 57 to Mike. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Here's a throw out wide to Anderson. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third you down. Him. You got him. <laughs> you got him. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Airing one out for Crowder. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. Yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field, and on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Jackson now. And a quick throw here. That's complete. The offense on third down tonight, just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. They're looking at third and a few inches. Jackson. Over the middle, complete. That's Vaughn. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw again is Jackson. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. To throw again on second down, Jackson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 44-yard line. So in Jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Jackson's throw caught here by Boykin. Pushing the foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that'll bring up second down. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. If you're a selfish player, and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. 
And it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. That is caught at the seven. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he will force his way into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Ravens cut into that lead. We well, got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space. But how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up, it's true, as they get back in it a bit here. It's now 23 to 10. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Let's go. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Tavon Young. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. And now here come the Ravens. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard and it's second down. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and 10. To throw on third down, Jackson. He's got his man. This is 10. And this won't be enough. A good, secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now really hoping for a turnover. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens 44. 
On third down, Dobbins. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Uh, Charles, all things considered, I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage, is it? No, but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game. And you're right, not critical in terms of the scoreboard and the team, but the guy with the golden foot, he knows he's only as good as his last kick. Throwing again on second down. Jackson, and he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing is Jackson, and that is incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. To throw again, Jackson, and that is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews there, and now it's third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out to his left. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. I don't think that was a blitz, was it? No, not at all. I mean, there was no blitz called on the play. Had other responsibilities, but he saw an opportunity, saw a path, and he took it. Now it's Jackson. And no, it's incomplete. The Ravens go for it, but come up empty. And the Jets are going to get the football back. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. Difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for a strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance. Give him three on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop them here to throw Rivers and nowhere to get away Rivers is dropped the Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next here's the Jets punter now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night and he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows a coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is gonna wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Ravens gonna use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And they will take a knee here. 
So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Uh, Neil down here from Rivers, and that should be it. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So for the Jets, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 with a win here. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, the loss will move them back to 3-2 on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home